Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today in this session we are going to discuss, we are going to take up a question from GATE 2019. Now this is, I would say, a composite question where the examiner, you know, has tricked the student by asking the question from three different topics. So this is a three-in-one question, I would say, because this targets three important topics of database. The first one is normalization, which is one of the favorites of examiners and I guess of my viewers as well. The second one is the uh, lossless decomposition. Okay, So whenever you decompose a relational schema into, let's say, two sub-schemas or a number of sub-schemas, the first important thing that you need to make sure is that whether the decomposition is lossless or not. So here, the second important topic from which the examiner has asked this question is lossless decomposition. And third and the final thing, which is also one of the necessary conditions that you need to check when you decompose a, a relational schema is whether it is dependency preserving or not. So basically, the examiner has tested the understanding of the student in BCNF, which is the highest normal form. So basically, normalization, then the relational decomposition, whether the decomposition is lossless or not, and third, the dependency preserving nature of the decomposition. So I would say this is one of the most important topics, one of the most important question, question which I've come across. Uh, from uh, the number of years I have practiced or I have attempted gate questions. This is one of the most important question I have seen because it is not only covering the concepts of no normalization but also two other important aspects and therefore this I would say is basically a three-in-one package or three-in-one question of gate. So, uh, it is very unusual you get such a question so i would really advise you to practice this question and let me know if you have some doubt or anything in this so i would explain it let's uh, dive into the question let's see what this question is and how we solve this so here the question is it says yeah it says let the set of functional dependencies this is the set of functional dependencies f be given like this so the, there are three functional dependencies qr goes to s r goes to p s goes to q okay hold on a relational schema x equals to qqrs and x is not in bcnf so they ha they have clearly specified that this is not in bcnf suppose x is decomposed into two relational schemas y and z okay where y equals to pr and z equals to qrs then consider the two statements given below so the first statement they say is both y and z are in bcnf so we need to check over here that if y and z are in BCNF, bcnf or not and second statement is decomposition of x into y and z is dependency preserving and lossless so again you need to check three important things over here first is bcnf next is dependency preserving and third is lossless so as i said this question covers these three important concepts so let's quickly dive into the question let's start this by you know uh, solving all these three things as three different parts of this question so first things first first what we need to do we need to write down clearly what is given to us so first i've written the uh, f set or the functional dependency set and this was the schema corresponding to which this is the functional dependency set similarly when we say that these this has been decomposed into y and z then i've written it as y is equal is equals to pr which is in the question and z is equals to qrs now similarly i'm going to write the corresponding functional dependencies which i get to derive from this set and this set so uh, since it is having only p and r so i would only take pick up the functional dependencies containing p and r nothing extra than this okay nothing extra no extra attribute except for p and r so there is only one such functional dependency which is this r goes to p so therefore i've written it over here r goes to p similarly for qrs you need to pick those functional dependencies which are covering q r and s and nothing extra than that so there are 
two functional dependencies of such type which is this and this so therefore i have written f2 equals to these two functional dependencies now we move to the first part of the question which is checking for bcnf so we check for bcnf over here so now first of all when we check for p uh, sorry when we check for y uh, y as you can clearly see r goes to p is only one functional dependency over here so if you were to check for bcnf over here what would you have been doing so you would first of all find out the closure right so if i find out the closure of r over here considering that i have only this functional dependency over here i would have r and p similarly if i find p's closure with only this functional dependency i would write only p so clearly from here we have r as our primary key of this this schema y so r is the primary key for y schema now primary key or we can also say it as super key right now since the left hand side is the super key and there is no other dependency no other functional dependency over here this schema directly becomes the uh, comes out in the highest normal form which is bcnf okay so this is clearly in bcnf no problem with y now let's check for z now z has two functional dependencies qr goes to s and s goes to q now we check for function uh, first of all again when we check for this we again have to find the closures now uh, i had i have already discussed the shortcut trick to find out the candidate keys primary keys you can please view that video i'll put that in the suggested videos above so over here uh, we we'll just discuss that in brief the shortcut trick was first to find the closures of the left hand side of the functional dependencies which are this right so and then determine the other possible uh, primary keys which i have discussed the method i have discussed in detail in that video you can please view that video for revising that concept so first of all i'm going to find out qr closure so this is going to give me q r since every uh, attribute de uh, de determines itself at least so q and r this is is going to be over here by default and then uh, since q r is determining s so i'm going to put s over here and that's all s and s is going to q but q is already over here so no other thing needs to be written over here so now since qr closure is contain containing all the attributes present in this schema over here so this becomes our this becomes our primary key okay now there is another functional dependency which is s goes to q so let's check for s closure when we check for s closure you get s q and nothing else right because q individually does not determine anything so this is not a primary key this is not a primary key okay then what are the prime attributes now in this case in this case since the primary key is comprising of two attributes both the attributes present in the primary key become the prime attributes so here we have q and r as prime attributes now this is a very important concept prime attributes you need to remember what are prime attributes okay okay now we had we are done with exploring this now let's check for the normalization form okay now yeah so bcnf says the rule for bcnf is that the left hand side and all the functional dependencies of the table should be the super key only the super key should be able to determine the attributes of the table now over here it is fine the left hand side is the super key but over here no it is not so therefore this is definitely not in bcnf so for the question sake we are done with this we are done that this is not z is not in bcnf you can straight away write this but then let's check what is the highest normal form just for the sake of practice let's check what is the highest normal form for that we'll have to analyze this functional dependency because since this is in bcnf we can directly tick mark for 3nf and all the normal forms for this without looking without analyzing further because if this functional dependency isn't is satisfying the condition of bcnf it is definitely uh, going to satisfy the conditions for the lower normal forms now let's check for this 
Now for 3 and f, what is the rule? Either the left hand side should be a super key, which it is not, or the right hand side should be a prime attribute. Now over here, what is the right hand side? Right hand side is the subset of a primary key QR, or it is basically a prime attribute. So this is satisfying this condition, so therefore this is in 3 and f. So therefore the highest normal form of Z is basically 3 and f. But it is not in BCNF, so 1 directly becomes false because 1 was saying condition 1 was over here in the question that both Y and Z are in BCNF. So over here, the statement 1 is false. So I have written statement 1 is false. Okay, now let's, draw, let's check for lossless decomposition. Whether the decomposition of X PQRS in Y and Z is lossless or not. Now, what is the condition for lossless? Again, there is a specific, there is a general introductory video for checking and for checking all the conditions for lossless decomposition. But over here, let's just solve it. So the condition was what? You can please view that video to revise the concept. But briefly, if I state over here, the condition was either the intersection of these two uh, sub schemas either the intersection of these two sub schemas in the terms of their attributes either that should be phi which is an empty set or if there is an x attribute let's say there is an attribute r over here in this case which is r indeed so let's take another attribute which should i take a let's say if y intersection z equals to a okay there is some attribute a then A's closure should either determine Y or A's closure should either determine Z or it should determine both. Then in that case, it becomes, it becomes lossless. Okay. So now let's check for our case over here. So when I take Y intersection Z, when I find out the common attribute in between them, so the common attribute over here is R. So therefore, when I take R closure, when I take R closure, here we have R closure. Yeah, it is R and P, right? So therefore, it is R and P. Therefore, it is clearly determining Y. Now, since this is determining Y, this becomes lossless. Okay, this becomes lossless. Okay, now let's check for the third part of the question, which is dependency preserving, whether it is dependency preserving or not very simplest uh, part of this question so what is what needs to be done over here first of all we are going to list down the functional dependency sets corresponding to these sub schemas y and z now please hear hear me out over here what is the logic is first of all you uh, need to write down the uh, functional dependency sets of this sub schemas and then you need to find out whether you are able to derive the original functional dependencies using these Sub, fun sub schema functional dependency sets so in short i'm going to check if i am able to derive f if i am able to get f using f1 and f2 that is the crux of this uh, part of this question okay so now let's check for this then so uh, directly you can see r goes to p is over here so i'm going to going, uh, so i'm able to get r goes to p from here right this i have got from here directly then qr goes to s qr goes to x okay s goes to q s goes to q so there was there there is no functional dependency over here in this set which i am not able to uh, achieve using f1 and f2 therefore i would say this is this is dependency preserving as well so the answer over here is second uh, uh, answer over, the, over here is that only second statement is true which says that the decomposition is dependency preserving and lossless. So let's check what was there in the question. So the question was over here. Yeah, so only C option over here is true. So this may vary according to the question paper sets of gate. But the answer, correct answer over here is that only the second statement is true, which says that decomposition of X into Y and Z is dependency preserving and lossless. Yeah, so that's all for this question. As you see that this was a bit long question because it not only asked 
the question about normalization it not only covered the concept about normalization but also about bcnf functional dependencies you know how to find closures how to find the candidate keys primary keys relational decomposition lossless decomposition dependency preserving all such concepts so therefore i would term it as a very very important question from gates perspective so uh, yeah if you like the video then please press the like button below and in case you would like to see more of such videos please press the subscribe icon uh, subscribe to my channel and also the bell icon to help me keep you notified with my latest videos also let me know about your suggestions or any doubts by writing down in the comment section below i'll be back with more such videos till then stay tuned keep learning thank you